What's up guys, welcome to the Macintosh Review. In this video, I wanted to run through the features of the iOS 9.3.2 firmware and give you an update on the jailbreak. So let's jump right into it. Hey, do you like getting paid applications for free on iOS or Android? If you do, definitely check out AppNana. This is a service that I personally use to get any paid application for free on both iOS or Android. It's totally free and it's definitely worth a try. Check out my link in the description for more info and to get started with a little bonus. All right, guys, so if you fire up the settings app on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, you will see that Apple released iOS 9.3.2 to the general public. This is my iPhone 6S, so if I click Learn More, I can see all the new bugs and fixes included in the new operating system. As expected, in terms of features, there really are not too many noticeable features. It's mainly a bug fix update, which is good, but there is one noticeable feature in terms of low power mode and night shift. You can now use both of those together. I know a lot of people, when night shift was released, wanted to be able to use low power mode at the same time, so now you can do that. Thanks, Apple, for including that in the update. In terms of whether or not you should actually update, I recommend holding off for a few days. News has been revealed that iOS 9.3.2 is bricking iPad Pros, so if you are an iPad Pro user, definitely avoid this update. If you're an iPhone, regular iPad, iPad Air, or iPod Touch user, I would still recommend it until you know that they have ironed out all the bugs. Obviously, Apple has not done that yet if iPad Pros are being bricked when installing this update. Also, if you're on the fence, just remember there's not really that many fixes. It's all about security, and there really is only the new feature to use low power mode and night shift together, so that should probably help influence your decision. Another helpful tip on whether or not you should update to the iOS 9.3.2 firmware is in regard to the jailbreak, probably the most fun update of this video. As of now, there is no jailbreak for iOS 9.3.1 or 9.3.2, as you guys have probably known from following me here on YouTube as of yet. I do expect the jailbreak to be released in the next couple weeks, but as of right now, there is no jailbreak. The jailbreak teams really seemed to be waiting for iOS 9.3.2 to be released, so now that it's officially released, I would expect the jailbreak teams to get hard at work trying to release the jailbreak to the general public. So that's always good news for us as jailbreak users. As I said, the release date will probably be in the next couple of weeks. And in the meantime, if you guys want to install jailbreak apps on your devices, I have guides to install jailbreak apps without jailbreaking using Mojo or Indigo Hub on my channel. Links will be down there in the description if that's something that interests you guys. So definitely check those out. But I would wait a few more weeks if you want the official jailbreak. Overall, guys, iOS 9.3.2 is all about security. If you want to wait until the jailbreak is released, that's a good thing to do. As I said, I recommend holding off for a few days. But just keep in mind that if you back up your device, you can always definitely downgrade back to 9.3.1 if you don't like 9.3.2 or if it bricks your device. Hopefully that helps you guys out and hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. And I've also got my Facebook, Google Plus, Twitter page and website all down there in the description. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. As always, stick around for the jailbreak. Peace.